Welcome back. Welcome Everybody. back. It's been a while. It's October. I'm sunburned. No, no, one TV. no one adjusts their TVs anymore. You can't say that anymore. You can't. Don't yeah. adjust your television sets. Can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When's the last time I adjust? Yeah. Actually, I that do. Thanks for tuning in. in. No one tunes yeah. in. You hit the button on the remote. You hit the button, <laughs> dang it. What was tuning in? Is that like you adjust your uh, Yeah, like the antenna? older TVs, you know. You'd, oh, yeah, right, yeah. Remember, you kind of like go up and down the dial. And I think, you know, okay. if you went a little too far, the picture would get a little, you know, wonky. distorted, wonky. That's yeah. what you <laughs> So anyway, the pop culture show, Popcorn. Pop culture. Well, let's deal with quickly the biggest event in St. Louis and its environs, or pop culture life, which was the demise of the Cardinals last night at the yeah in that, the NCLS. That's the worst way to lose a clinching game is to give up a walk-off home run. I mean, yeah. Right, the Giants fans had to love it. Obviously, yeah. But. Did you? I totally sense that coming. I'm like, dude, this guy's got I, it, man. I had said all along that I didn't think Michael Waka should be on the roster, yeah. and everyone was clamoring for him during that game with Shelby Miller. And I'm like, why? I mean, the guy <laughs> hasn't pitched in a month. He's a great pitcher. He was great for yeah. the Cardinals last year, and I'm hoping he will be great next year. But this year, yeah. let him be a cheerleader. Yeah. Don't put a guy out there that that isn't 100 percent and that hasn't been pitching all season in a in a tie game in the yeah. bottom of the ninth inning. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can fathom is if you somehow thought that. This was really going to go on for several e innings or yeah. something, and you know. I'm like, sure that's uh, what he was thinking, but. But how can you even think that with the Giants? Right. These dudes can almost score every freaking inning. Yeah, see, <laughs> whenever the Cardinals would score, they'd answer like the next inning. Yeah, exactly. Can we get a one-two-three inning, and Wayno. I mean, what a great start from him. Yeah. One home run mistake, really. And he was awesome. And I don't. And again, some people are saying they should have left him in there. Well, he, you know. Yeah. I, know. I think you read his lips in the dugout. He said, "I have one more inning." He pitched that inning. He got through it. He's yeah. pitched so many innings this year. He's had the elbow tendonitis issue. Yeah, come You're on. You're not going to put him back out there. I think it's. I'm fine with right. him taking him out. The Nishek thing, obviously, you don't expect him to give up a home run there. Or, you know, he. I think he was kind of running out of gas a little bit at the end of the season. But he had mm -hmm. a great year. So you know, you could. I guess you know if Nishek goes out and pitches and gets out of that, then they still have the lead. So. You know, I don't no. know, whatever. Who Genius cares? manager that I, yeah, I, I would have gone with. I'm not, I'm I would have gone with Matheny. Martinez on on the, instead of Nishak. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, Matheny. You know, hashtag fire Matheny. Should we do it? <laughs> sure. Why is that an overreaction? There was a guy. I, on I mean, the... he's, had, he's been successful. I know we've been to the NLCS twice in the, yeah. in the World Series, but it just does seem to me. I'm not saying he's a terrible manager. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously the players love him. He's a good leader, supposedly. Mm -hmm. But in pressure postseason situations, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like he makes the right moves a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I can say. I mean, obviously they've advanced every year he's been in the play. It's not like they're yeah. getting swept in the divisional series or something. Yeah. But hopefully he can learn a few things from this. You would hope he would have learned from last year, too. But right. I don't know. Yeah. Who's that guy who I like in the morning on ESPN? I can't. Uh, Mike and Mike. Kevin Wheeler, I think. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. He's pretty good. He but is, yeah. he was launching a mighty defense of... Uh, of Matheny. Yeah. He's, well, I know a lot of... If you criticize him, a lot of people say, how can you criticize him? He's gotten us to the playoffs three first three yeah. years. And that's true. Yeah. Now, I guess you can say, well, how much does the manager really matter? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm sure yeah. they do matter. But, you know, it, a lot of times the players are the one. The pitcher is the player. Like, you do have to make the right calls and make the right substitutions yeah. and moves. And that's where I think Matheny... It, you know, kind of uh, loses it just a little bit on some of those deals where we talked about. I mean, putting in Choate the other night, you know, and, and when, once he walked the lefty, take him out and put someone else in. You know right. Larusa would have done that. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, the, yeah, the, it was weird because Wheeler was, like, trying to defend him against all the haters or whatever, like you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but then it was like. But yeah, I don't, I don't really get putting. Uh, I don't think we should have put walk in. Well, it's like, well, that was kind of crucial. Yeah, it, was. <laughs> it was. Oh well, let's. And like I said, on. you can't have it both ways. Wanting Waka two nights ago and then complaining he was in last night. Yeah. But I was consistent on that. Yeah, I didn't want Waka. I'm just kidding. I don't. Know. I'm no expert, <laughs> folks. I'm just a fan. Just a fan. I'm a fan. I mean, with I, three fantasy leagues. With yeah, three <laughs> fantasy football leagues and fantasy hockey. And I do call some sporting events here. Here, Jeff Coe. So he is an expert. I am. He I won't watch. say it, but I'll say. All right, it. thanks. And I got yours. <laughs> That's all I need. You should be manager <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw my hat in the ring. You, uh, you can only pay me pay me five hundred thousand a year. I'll okay. take it. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'd take one hundred. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take seventy thousand. <laughs> Just watch a bunch of games yeah. and go. Yeah, I get that guy. Uh, I, I, my thing on Rosenthal, I just couldn't believe it. Like every time I watched him, he would throw these like um, you know borderline wild pitches or whatever. I'm like. 
Boy, you know, calling you know, when Rosenthal, when you went calling for your closer to seem like a desperate roll of the dice. <laughs> I know. <laughs>